Hi, this is Dr. Linda Kiley, the holistic urogynecologist. I'm here to talk to you today about pelvic pain and specifically myofascial pain in the pelvis. So this is something that is really not um, very commonly discussed. And in fact, most doctors are not aware that the pelvis can be a source of musculoskeletal pain. So we all know about back pain, we know about shoulder pain, leg pain, knee pain, hip pain, arthritis, muscle spasms, muscle cramps. We know about all of that everywhere else in the body. But for some reason, when it comes to the pelvis, a lot of people forget that the pelvis is full of muscles and there are a number of joints in the pelvis, some of which don't move, that can become inflamed and irritated. So understanding that pelvic pain can be more than just something related to the bladder, the uterus, the bowel, is very important. I see women every day who have had multiple diagnostic tests and sometimes surgical procedures and still had pain. And the reason that they still had pain in my opinion, is that their musculoskeletal problem was not addressed. So how do we address musculoskeletal problems in the pelvis? Well, treatment for any kind of musculoskeletal disorder typically starts with physical therapy. So in the case of the pelvis, most physical therapists do not have training for treating musculoskeletal disorders in the pelvis. So you need to seek out a pelvic physical therapist. So they're difficult to find in many places. There aren't a lot of them around. It requires extra training because normally in physical therapy school, they don't spend very much time on the pelvis. They spend, you know, maybe a couple of hours, but really a pelvic therapist that has undergone additional training will spend many, many hours in training regarding how to treat musculoskeletal disorders in the pelvis. So myofascial pain, what that means is myo stands for muscle, fascial is the covering of the muscle or the connective stuff with around the muscle. It also can look like the gristle, um, the ligaments and tendons that are attached to the muscle and attached to the bones or attached muscles to one another can become inflamed and irritated. We all know about tendonitis, torn ligaments, sprains, strains. Those things can all happen in the pelvis. And a lot of people just don't think about that. So before going and having surgery or some major invasive procedure done, it behooves one to check and see whether or not maybe this is a problem that's related to the musculoskeletal part of the pelvis. I've seen many, many women very frustrated because they have pain and they've had every scan done, ultrasound, CAT scan, MRIs, everything. They've had cultures done, been treated for bacteria, yeast, whatever, and they're not any better. Well, they're not better because they haven't been treated for the musculoskeletal problem. So, tip of the day, pelvic pain can be musculoskeletal and it requires treatment from a pelvic physical therapist. So, ask about that. Ask your doctor if you have pain and it's unexplained and it's in your lower abdomen or in your pelvis, vagina, bladder, rectum, any of those areas can manifest pain from a musculoskeletal disorder. So ask your doctor and try to find a trained pelvic therapist. All right, tip of the day from the holistic urogynecologist. I'm Dr. Linda Kiley, thank you.